happened to Rust? Doesn't it feel like it was just yesterday? You got home from your job, school, or stress from your daily life? To turn on the computer, to start your weekend on a Thursday, wipe day. Coming back week after week for your enjoyment. <laughs> Addiction to Rust? In 2023, seems like things are a little bit different, possibly in a bad way. Cheating is out of control. The competitive scene's dead. The game is too complicated. More than ever before, it seems people are complaining consistently about something. So it must mean this is finally the end of Rust, right? Wait one second. Facepunch added in all these new updates, with all these cool new features. A lot of people seem to like it. In fact, Rust has never performed better in its entire history. So what's going on? Is it just you feeling this way, or is there a genuine issue with Rust? And if there is an underlying problem, how can you enjoy Rust again? In order to address this, we need to first review when people have stopped enjoying Rust in the past. It might be to your surprise, but every month the game releases a new update. People always complain, but the biggest complaints or withdrawals for the game usually come down to one word, change. In the beginning, developers tried to find middle ground with their players through the reddit of r slash play rust in 2015 to 2018, and tried to make everyone happy. Help the lead developer even went out of his way to listen, and apply feedback to give the people what they wanted for years. However, Hulk and the development team would quickly find out you can't make everyone happy, specifically rust players. Hulk would vent his frustration out and saying, does anything make you people happy? I really need to follow Gary's advice and just never read Reddit. We stay up until 3 a.m. trying to get something done for the patch because we want to improve the game and make people happy, and then log on to the storm of people asking if we've ever played or if we have for brains. It sucks, and it's super demotivating. This happens time and time again, and no one seems to learn from this. If we add something and it sucks, we will change it until it doesn't suck. Shee! Unfortunately, the pressure on Hulk would continue to escalate eventually hospitalizing him due to health issues related from his work. This would be a wake-up call for Face Punch, and in order to progress, they stopped religiously listening to feedback and started making changes regardless of any backlash. This is where you got electricity in 2018, vehicles in 2019, and a new progression system in 2020, and the most controversial of all changes in 2022, the removal of the old recoil system that players had mastered for years was removed in favor of easier gunplay. So it should be pretty obvious that some love these changes changes, and others hated it. A lot. But can this really be the only thing making people lose interest in the game? Beyond the game or the developers, the only other variable to finding enjoyment is actually you, the player. It might feel like yesterday since you started playing, but it's actually probably been several years. The game is almost 10 years old, and with that being the case, you probably logged a lot of hours, and things might not feel that new anymore. You've also might have been greeted with new life responsibilities and getting older, and don't have too much time to play the game. I mean, look around. Are you still even playing with the same clan or friends that made you enjoy the game in the first place? When I started playing Rust, I went against the usual playstyle, in favor of building hotels. They were inspired by the owner of Rustified, named Bugs, who made Bugsville in 2015. It was a very unique way to play Rust, and when he stopped building them, I continued the legacy, and it was by far the most fun I've ever had in a video game, due to the social interactions alone. Serving hundreds of new players, making friends, and meeting so many interesting characters. This went on for two years, until finally in 2018, I faced all the issues mentioned above. They changed upkeep for base building, and for someone building these massive hotels, I did not like that. I was actually the one complaining on Reddit. And to top it off, I almost had 5,000 hours clocked in, so things were no longer fresh or as new to me as they once were. I finally looked around to see. I was one of the last remaining people out of my friends and group who was still playing Rust. So I quit. And like many of you watching, I've struggled to find the enjoyment with other games that I once had with Rust. Even other content creators like well and miss these old times. Shepherd's Villa? I miss the days of the hotel. Those were, that was so fun. When Shepherd would do those hotels. After an absence of nearly five years, my passion for the game has been reignited. So a compelling question emerges. What could be the solution? Well, there's three underlying problems that need answers, and fortunately for you, the first two are in your control. One common obstacle players face is burnout. The constant pressure to be online 24-7, farming, building, and engaging in PvP can take a toll on anyone. 
However, I've discovered that less is more. Instead of playing every week, I recommend choosing one or two weeks per month dedicated to Rust. By adopting this approach, not only will you prevent burnout, but your clan's performance will improve, and the grind will become something to genuinely look forward to. Another often overlooked aspect is your team chemistry. Many players join clans or groups solely based on their PvP skills, ignoring the importance of compatibility and sometimes sacrificing their own enjoyment to play with better clans. However, the journey in Rust, and similar to life, is enriched by the people we surround ourselves with. Mr. Gray, who led thousands of people over his seven years in Rust, had this important advice to say. This is my advice to any clan anywhere that is wanting to succeed and I owe a lot of success to this. Have a team meeting 15 minutes once a week where everybody gets a laugh, smoke and joke together and uh, it'll make a big impact on your group. So if you find yourself disliking your clan or feeling alone, it might be time to change the scenery. Focus on spending time with people you like. It's really the journey and not the destination that makes things worth enjoying. So far we have successfully tackled two out of the three underlying challenges that likely hinder your enjoyment in Rust. Now here is the final problem, which is out of your control. It's change. Unfortunately, we can't control every aspect around us. Whether you like it or not, Rust will change for better and worse. The old recoil system likely won't be coming back, and a lot of things are going to remain different. It's understandable to dislike change, but if things never changed, that would also be a problem. Imagine Rust just stayed the same way it did from 2013 up until today. Would the game even be fun anymore? If you can adapt to change, you will find enjoyment in Rust again. Try taking on a new playstyle such as running a clan, attempt to play solo, or maybe even build a village. Learn how to harness electricity, build an unrateable base, go fishing or farming. Trying new things can really change your outlook on how you can enjoy the game, but I know this solution isn't going to work for everyone, so let me throw out a bonus for all the haters. Do you really want old Rust? Well good news is, it's actually possible. You can go back in time to get some nostalgia if need be. Any client of the game from 2014 to 2023 for Rust exists today. Some are harder to find than others. However, I've tried to make it easy for you in linking some credible resources down below. Things will never be the same as they once were. New updates, good and bad, will appear. Not one size fits all, and it's possible Rust might have served its purpose for you. With that being said, remember, don't be sad that it's over. Be glad that it happened. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to experience something new in Rust, I plan on bringing back the hotels this summer and would love if you could come and join me. Discord down below. Cheers.